Hello everyone, welcome to today's vocabulary lesson from Best My Test. In this video, we are going to look at words that express the meaning of variety and difference. We are going to look at two groups of words today. The first group of words we will be looking at includes the words related to variety, in particular the words very, varied, varying, various and variety. For the second group of words, we will be looking at words that show difference and we will talk about differ, differentiation, differentiate. So, you may be using one or the other of these words already. Today, we want to discuss the different meanings and usages of these sometimes confusing words so that you can use them correctly and do not get points deducted in your TOEFL exam. So, let's get started. Okay. In the first group, we will start with the word very. The verb very can be used as a transitive or intransitive verb. For those who are not familiar with these terms, transitive means with an object and intransitive means without an object. When it is used as a transitive verb, it means to change something. Often we use the verb very when you're talking about changing up our usual routines. For example, if your schedule changes at work, you might have to vary your sleeping habits or I try to vary my diet by eating different kinds of foods. Very, however, is more often used as an intransitive verb to express the meaning to be different. Here, the preposition from is often used with very. Let's look at two patterns using the phrase very from. The first one is A varies from B to B. It means that A is different for each B. Here are example sentences. The effects of this medicine vary from person to person. The shape of the moon varies from day to day. Textbooks vary from school to school. The second pattern is A varies from B to C. It means sometimes A is B and sometimes A is C. Look at some examples to make that clearer. The weather alternatively varies from rainy to sunny in the summer. Reviews of the new movie vary from positive to negative. Colors vary from light to dark. This music varies from loud to soft and fast to slow. His mood varies from happy to sad depending on the time of the day. Vary is also often used with the preposition in when things are different in size, amount or degree but are still part of the same general class. Here are some examples. Subspecies vary considerably in size. Diamonds vary in size. Chromosomes vary in number and shape among living things. Okay, the next word is varied. Varied is an adjective. Think of varied as describing something that has many altered forms or something that has been changed often. For example, there are many varied ideas on how to improve the economy. The artist has painted in varied styles as his interests have changed over the years. A varied workout routine will keep you from getting bored. Also, we can say something is varied when it covers a wide range of things. For example, we try to eat a more varied diet. Or, she has varied interests. Moving on to the next word, various. Various is also an adjective that describes several different kind of things like a candy shop that is home to various sweets, from lollipops to chocolate fudge. Or, if you have various interests, you might love hip-hop, movies from the 40s, fixing cars and reading fashion magazines. Various can convey the meaning of numerous or many, like when you say, various people want to get involved with the park cleanup, this means a lot of people want to help. The next word is varying. A lot of people are confused about the difference between various and varying. As we just learned, various means different, in the idea of more than one kind of thing. On the other hand, varying means different aspects or features of the same kind of thing. Here are examples using the word varying. Dress in layers so that you will be comfortable in varying room temperatures. Clients may have varying experience. There's a spectrum ranging from inexperienced first-time clients to highly experienced seasoned clients. Okay, our next word is the noun variation. 
Variation means a change or a slight difference in condition, amount or level. If we talk about variations from accepted standards, we often talk about important or critical things that need our attention. The word variation is used with the preposition in. For example, a variation in a heartbeat pattern can tell a doctor that a heart attack might be imminent. The variation in weather temperatures from what is expected indicates that our climate is changing due to global warming. The more genes you look at, the more variations you'll find. Some scientists estimate height is influenced by as many as 93,000 genetic variations. Let's look at the next word, which is variety. Variety is a noun that is a category of things distinguished by some common characteristic or quality. For example, if you got a variety pack of chocolate, you would get a pack of chocolate that has milk chocolate, dark chocolate, almond chocolate, and so on. The phrase a variety of or a great or wide variety of is often used. Here are example sentences. This shopping center offers a variety of leisure activities. Our national park is home to a variety of wildlife, including birds and types of bats. Students are offered a wide variety of courses in this department. People attend college for a variety of reasons. Variety can also describe different things that are classified under one category or type. For example, there are 50 varieties of fish. 7,500 varieties of apples are grown throughout the world. It is important for farmers to understand what varieties of crops can grow in different seasons. Finally, you might have heard the word a variety show. A variety show is entertainment that includes a number of different and unrelated acts like fire eaters, string bands, comedians, lounge singers and spoon players. Whew, that's a lot of words already, but we are not done yet. We still haven't looked at the second group of words, which talks about difference. I suppose most of you know how to use the words different and difference, so we won't cover these two in the video. Okay, okay the first word in this group is the verb differ. To differ means to be different from something else. You will often see the following patterns with the word differ. A differs from B. A differs from B to B. And multiple similar things differ in C. The first one, A differs from B, means that A is different from B. For example, English differs from Spanish in that it is not pronounced as it is written. Korean cuisine differs from English cuisine because it is much spicier. Notice the preposition in in the first sentence. The pattern is A differs from B in and here you can name the aspect of difference. So you can change the second sentence too. Korean cuisine differs from English cuisine in that it is much spicier. Okay, let's look at the next pattern. A differs from B to B. It means A is different for every B. In this case, it is the same as A varies from B to B. Here are example sentences. Laws on pollution differ widely from country to country. Textbooks differ from school to school. We use the third pattern to say that multiple similar things differ in C. This pattern means C is a characteristic that identifies the difference among a group of similar things. Here's an example sentence. Although they are similar in many respects, bonobos and chimpanzees differ greatly in social and sexual behaviors. Differentiate between A and B means to see or show a difference between A and B. For example, Joe is colorblind and cannot differentiate between red and green. The camouflage of octopuses makes it difficult for their predators to differentiate between them and rocks. But something differentiates A from B means A has the quality or feature that makes A different from B. For example, the ability to speak differentiates humans from other animals. Although both whales and sharks are aquatic animals, 
the fact that whales are mammals differentiates whales from sharks. The noun form of differentiate is differentiation. So the pattern differentiate between A and B can be paraphrased to this one here. Make a differentiation between A and B. For example, Joe is colorblind and cannot make a differentiation between red and green. Other example sentences of the word differentiation are as follows. Product differentiation is an important aspect in business. Companies should work hard to achieve differentiation in products. Okay, this is the end of today's video. I suggest you watch this video a couple of times to learn how to use the words and phrases we have taught you today. You should create your own sentences when learning these words. If you want, you can share them with us in the comments as well. Next time you encounter these words, you should be able to understand them better and use them correctly. You can also go to our website bestmytest.com to practice over a thousand TOEFL exercises and watch other videos teaching vocabulary. This is Joe from bestmytest.com and I'm looking forward to seeing you next time.